everybody, my name is Adam and this is part five of my Leadership Essentials series. And today's principle that I want to share with you is one of the simplest and most practical things that you can apply at any level of leadership. Whether you've been leading for one day or whether you've been leading for 50 years, this will apply to you, it'll apply to your personal life, it'll apply to your ministry, it'll apply to your business, it'll apply to literally like almost every different area of your life. This is the number one takeaway thing that I've learned from John Maxwell. Years ago when I began to get, be, get into leadership and began to learn about leadership, I was listening to John Maxwell all the time and he talked about this thing and I was just like, oh, duh, that's genius. Question for you before I actually tell you what it is. is Think of an area in your life that you want to grow. Like, is there some area that you want to grow? Maybe you want to grow in your relationships with your friends. Maybe you want to grow as a communicator. Maybe you want to grow in your relationship with God. Maybe you want to grow uh, healthier or in your fitness. Maybe you want to grow in your, your leadership ability. Maybe you want, like, think of any area of your life that you want to grow in. And let's be honest, I think all of us want to grow. Like, everybody who I know, if you're a follower of Jesus, you probably would say, yeah, I want to grow closer to God. I want to grow in my relationship with God. So I'll say, all right, well, uh, what's your plan that's in order to help you grow? And they're like, oh, well, I don't know, maybe like pray and read my Bible and stuff. What John Maxwell teaches and taught is that you need to have a personal growth plan, a personal growth plan. This is a plan of how you're planning on growing. Like, yes, you want to grow, but what are you going to actually do practically that's going to help you grow from where you are to where you want to be? Uh, it seemed like I was like, oh, duh. So he's like, what's your plan? Uh, you're going to do A, B, C, D. So if you want to grow spiritually, maybe that plan includes every day I'm going to spend 10 minutes in prayer, or every day I'm going to spend X amount of minutes reading the Bible, or, or every week I'm going to spend X amount of time uh, worshiping, or whatever. And you, and you can put some practical steps of here's my plan. I'm going to do A, B, C, D. And those things won't guarantee your growth, but they will give you a plan so that where if you do those things, you are far more likely to actually grow, to actually accomplish what you're trying to accomplish than if you do not have a plan. Listen to me. Even This applies even if you don't lead anything and you're not a leader. This will just help you to, to lead yourself in life because I think all of us want to grow. And that is develop and create for yourself a personal growth plan. And I would suggest that you make this plan apply to multiple different areas of your life. So think of all the different areas of your life that you want to grow in. Um, so for me, a couple different areas that I would include in my growth plan would be spiritual life, my personal relationship with God. Number two would be my ministry life, like my youth ministry as a youth pastor, what are the areas that I want to grow in. Uh, another area would be in my marriage, in my relationship with my wife I want to grow. Another one would be as a dad, okay? Uh, how do I want to, what do I, do I have goals as a dad to become a better parent uh, with my kids? Um, another area would be health, like your fitness, your eating, all that kind of stuff. You, maybe you have health goals. Another area could be like if you're in school, it could be school or just growth in that sort of area. Think of all the different facets of your life, the different kinds of relationships you have in your life, and put all those things in, into your growth plan. And then under each of those categories, you can uh, begin making a plan of, I'm going to do A, B, C, D to get to that goal. Okay? Pretty simple, but here's what I've, I've noticed over the years. Ever since I've done this, uh, uh, sometimes I have this like active and happening in my life, and other times I've kind of slacked on it. And what I've noticed is the times when I'm focused on having a growth plan and following that plan, you're never going to guess this, it seems like I actually grow more when I have that in place. Now, something that goes right along with this, and this is another like very popular leadership life concept, and don't tune me out, don't turn this off when I say this, but is you need to set goals. Yeah, set goals. You're like, duh, everybody talks about this, but, but there's a reason, guys. There's a reason that everybody talks about setting goals. Maybe it's because they're actually helpful. I'm telling you, find the people who are the best leaders in the world, and they have goals. They, they know where they want to end up. They're beginning with the end in mind. The end is your goals, the things you're trying to accomplish uh, in life. And so this goes hand in hand with a growth plan because if you set goals for the different areas of your life, then your growth plan is going to be the practical things that you're going to do and the steps you're going to do to get 
to be able to accomplish your goals. And so I would challenge you and encourage you that goals will help you to grow more than not having goals will. There's a lot of debate about goals. I've, I've heard crazy studies about goals that I've even taught people before. Like Yale had this study and, you know, uh, that the, the top th the 3% of the Yale graduates who had written goals that they, uh, with an action plan that they referred to regularly, those 3% made 10 times more money than the bottom 97% of Yale graduates. Now, some people have said, oh no, that's false, it's been debunked, da 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 Here's what I've learned, is that the times in my life when I have written goals, written goals that I regularly refer to, I am far more likely to accomplish my goals. I don't know why that is. Probably because you're on there on your mind regularly when you think about them. Now, I'm not talking about think about a goal and then just forget about it. I'm talking about a written goal that you actually write it down and then look at it regularly, daily. Put it somewhere where you'll see it every day because then every day you're reminded, oh, I'm gonna, I gotta work on that, I gotta work on that, I gotta work on that, I gotta work on that. And even if it's a, even if it's a huge goal, you'll begin taking steps almost every day towards accomplishing that goal, which means you're far more likely to actually accomplish that goal. It seems pretty simple. It seems like a duh thing, but I'm telling you, experiment with this. Try this. Set some maybe short-term goals, maybe some goals for the week or goals for the month, and then write them down and put them in a spot where you'll see it all the time. What I did for one year of my life is, is I had like six key goals for that year that I was trying to accomplish. Um, and what I did is made, I wrote them down, I made them like the background of uh, whatever that's called, my home screen thing on my phone. So it was always on there. So I was looking at it like, I don't know, whatever, how many times I look at my phone? A hundred times a day, every day. And I'd be like, ugh, I gotta work on that. Ugh, I gotta, and it became like invisible in a way because the, the background screen of your phone, but I saw it all the time, all the time. And that year when I wrote that down, I, I did better at accomplishing my goals, I think, than any other year of my life. So when it comes to goal setting, I just really want to encourage you, don't be a cynic and be like, whatever, that doesn't work. I've tried it. It doesn't work. If you've tried it before, it didn't work. A couple tips. Number one, um, think of some goals that are specific, like specific goals. You don't want to say, I want to get closer to God. Like, yeah, of course, we all want to get closer to God. But that's not like, how do you know when you get to the end of the year if you're actually closer to God or not? Is it just by how you feel? I don't know. You need a goal that's specific and that's measurable, that you can measure it. Like, I want to read my entire Bible this year. Now, that won't guarantee that you'll go grow closer to God, but it's probably more likely that you'll grow closer to God if you have a measurable goal like, I'm going to read the entire Bible. Uh, you'll know if you accomplished it or not. And then if you accomplish it, probably it'll help you to grow. So when it comes to spiritual things, sometimes it's weird to, to write tangible goals for spiritual things, measurable goals, but you can do it. Like I'm betting if you make it one of your goals that for 10 minutes every day, I'm going to meditate on one passage of scripture. And then you do that every day for the next 300 days. I'm betting then that you're more likely to have grown spiritually by doing that than if you didn't do that. And you can measure, yeah, I did that every single day for 300 days or whatever. You can measure that, you know if you accomplished it or not. And I'm betting that if you have a bunch of measurable goals that, that tie into your spiritual life, you'll be able to see actual spiritual growth happen in your life. So if you could do that with spiritual things, I think you can do it with everything. You can do it with your communication, you can do it with your ministry, you can do it with your business, you can do it with your friendships, like everything. And I know some personalities are more like connecting with this than others, but this whole goal conversation, literally there's lots of books written entirely on this, so I'm, so I'm like oversimplifying it here. But uh, these are my tips of things that have helped me make it specific, uh, make it measurable so you can know like whether you attained it or not. Um, uh, make it where it's hard, but not impossible. It's got to stretch you and be like to actually challenge you to reach that goal. And then I think make it time bound where it has a deadline. So by January 1st, I'm going to accomplish this. Or by September 27th at 2 p.m., I'm going to accomplish A, B, or C. Okay, so have a, a deadline to that goal. If it's just like, you know, I want to become a better preacher. Well, dude, what? By when? And in what way? That's so vague. It's got to be specific. Like for, for me, it's like I want to I wanna be able to preach completely without notes by September 2nd, 2019 or whatever. Okay, that's more measurable. There's a deadline on it. It's, it's I can see if I've done it or not. That's my leadership challenge for you today. And even if it's just a personal leadership challenge is that 
write some goals down, set some goals, think big, dream big, set big goals, build a growth plan that's going to, where you strategically think through and pray through, like, God, what areas do you want me, do you want me to grow in? Uh, this, for me, I keep saying year, because for me, the way I do it is like over a, a year is a good setup. Some people, that's way too long, and they, they lose focus and everything. So some people do this thing called four by four, where they set four goals uh, for four weeks, and then they have a month to basically accomplish these four different things. Some people do a six by six, six things they're trying to accomplish in six weeks. Some people do three month goals or whatever, like try them all and see what one works is the most helpful for you, and then start implementing that into your life and go for it. I'm telling you. This is simple, this might be, duh, you might have already known all this, but my question is, are you doing it? Do you have written goals that, re that you refer to regularly, that are specific, that are actionable, that have deadlines on them? We all wanna grow. I wanna grow, you wanna grow. It's not gonna happen just by chance. You need to be strategic about it, you need to be purposeful about it, you need to be intentional about it, and the best way that I've found to do that is to create a personal growth plan. We're gonna write down, I'm doing A, B, C, D in these different areas of my life because I know that those things are gonna help me to grow in whatever area it is that I want to grow in. So there you go, Leadership Essential number five. Let's put it into action starting as soon as possible. Don't just listen to this video and be like, oh, thanks, Adam, that was a great tip. Thumbs up on the YouTube video. No, 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 my challenge for you is Maybe in the comments you could leave this. What's one goal that you have for this for this year? Maybe what's one goal that you have for this month? Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Woo!